Now, come on, folks. You can call these people terrorists in the Kashmir, but the real problem we all know is, and no one wants to say it, is that India has refused to hold an honest plebiscite, as they were required to do by the United Nations, for the last 40 years, and if the people of Kashmir had a right to vote on their own destiny, they would probably vote not to be part of India, and there would be no conflict. There would be no people killing other people. There would be no excuse for a million Indian soldiers to be stationed up in northern India to, to repress those people who want nothing more than a right to vote as to whether they'd be a part of India or not, which is what the United Nations required them to do. India has been condemned by Amnesty International, by Asia Watch, by people, by honest people who are looking and trying to uh, support human rights around the world. They've been condemned over and over and over again. These people are trying to fight for their rights in the Kashmir, and as a reaction, the Indians are saying, we're not going to let them get away with it. So, they're gonna, so, they're, so they are condoning monstrous human rights abuses against the people of Kashmir. It can be stopped very easy. Let those people in the Kashmir determine their own destiny through the ballot box rather than through bullets. That's the bottom line. And if we do that, if we insist on that, if we send that message tonight with this little tiny cut of $8 million, I will tell you this much. The tensions on the subcontinent will subside. We will have done what is right, and in the long run, it will create a more peaceful world because the people of the Kashmir will have their right to vote, and there will be no excuse for the violence that, that exists there today. So I please, and I plead with all of you, come on, let's get beyond all of this rhetoric. Let's not talk about India as our old friend. Let's not create some false images of how we have to do it. We must stand for human rights there and elsewhere because it furthers the cause of peace to do so. Let's send that message to India. India has refused to hold an honest plebiscite as they were required to do by the United Nations for the last 40 years and if the people of Kashmir had a right to vote on their own destiny they would probably vote not to be part of India, and there would be no conflict. There would be no people killing other people. There would be no excuse for a million Indian soldiers to be stationed up in northern India to, to repress those people who want nothing more than a right to vote as to whether they'd be a part of India or not, which is what the United Nations required them to do. India has been condemned by Amnesty International, by Asia Watch, by people, by honest people who are looking and trying to uh, support human rights around the world. They've been condemned over and over and over again. We must stand for human rights there and elsewhere because it furthers the cause of peace to do so. Let's send that message to India.